good morning welcome to dogman homestead i'm out here bright and early it's already feels like a wet towel out here <laughs> and uh, if i'm lucky i might be able to work till about noon uh what i'm going to be doing today we're going back into the dog apartment and i'm going to be installing this smart shield insulation uh supposed to be better than regular insulation it was certainly cheaper but not a lot cheaper uh supposed to keep out 97 percent of the heat radiation and nice thing is you can just handle it normally cut it with scissors don't have to worry about getting the it's uh, the fiberglass all over you and if it gets wet doesn't hurt it unlike insulation if it gets wet you know, well if it gets wet you haven't sealed the building properly but it happens you know with the weather we get here you never know if it's gonna blow off piece t111 and i certainly don't want to spend what a roll of insulation costs today and uh, only to have to replace it again so the first thing i'm gonna focus on is we're going to go around and seal up any any cracks uh, i've got three cans of spray foam i've got this uh this stuff's great here. A couple rolls of this. Yeah, everything, everything sticks to it. I got three rolls of this. Uh, it's a very flexible uh, flashing, but it's also waterproof, so it can go around like up in the gable where I've got those cracks. I'll put this on the inside because I ain't gonna put trim up today yet. I don't even have it. So we're gonna get this on. I've got the spray foam. And this and I'll take you in here to the dog room dog apartment and I'll show you what we're gonna do yeah, let's go on in here with these guys there's Waldo in the corner so I'm gonna insulate all these walls in between each uh, <laughs> there my mind goes again in between the studs I'm gonna pull all this stuff down and anywhere you see light like here and that's actually just the bird block. This is attached down. That's where the bird block, uh, I'm not going to screw that to the bird block. I'm going to put the flash in there. Anywhere there's gaps, like that, we're taking care of that today. I'm going to get this piece cut, put up here. We're going to get this insulation on. That, I need to run a stud because somehow the cut was off. And uh, so that's a gap. We can fix that later. That the tie back's gonna keep this place from having drafts. But what do you think, Mr. Waldo? Hey, I'm talking to you, boy. What do you think? He said, I want it cold in here. And up here, uh, yeah, that's where that flashing tape is gonna come really, really good and handy. And there's also I still gotta put a piece of T111 up there, it's just been so hot, man. To get on any kind of a roof right now is suicide. <laughs> so we're gonna get this sealed up good, the best we can for now. As you can see back there, it needs trim. Flashing tape will take care of it. I'm also gonna run flashing, not today, but when I do the trim, flashing will go along the bottoms on the outside, and then the trim, I may even pull back some of the and there is flashing on this. You can see how it's sealed up there. So we're going to get busy. I uh, I ordered new beds. These things are about three times bigger than what they need. And I got no room for nothing else in here with these beds. So I got some that are much smaller. But they'll still be comfortable. And then I'm going to... I already gifted these to Butt Nuggets Homestead. I'm sure Bud and Daisy, they're my big old dog. They're going to love these. And these are big enough for Bud can handle any great pair of knees. This is a large breed bed, and I didn't realize how big they were when I bought them. But they're not going to waste. They're actually very cheap. Uh, the ones I ordered, these were like $32 a piece. They're very high quality. But the ones I got were even cheaper. They were 21 So it's something I just, you know, these are too big. They're not going to work for me here. Where am I going to put my washer and dryer? And I these kind of sag on them a little bit I don't know they're just too big so we got new ones coming in a few days we'll get them situated in here today is going to make one heck of a difference when I'm running the air conditioning and that's not even permanently in there we may work on that a little better all right so today we're working on the dog apartment let's see what we can get done all right 
I'm going around right now filling all these little cracks. I got this flash band flashing tape. Now, once you stick this stuff, it ain't coming back up. So I'm going around. I actually got on top of this ridge here. Now I'm going up here in the corner. Uh, that's going to have a trim on it. So that will also seal the gap. Trim with flashing on the outside. I have not screwed down the bottom of this T111. It also gets flashing on the bottom. So this is just an added thing like up there to keep you know the cool air the heat in the winter from escaping i also still got to put a fix this in here uh the, you know like i say there's gaps and what i if i run out this is the last roll of this so when i run out i got foam you know i didn't build this like it was going to be a room in the house so i built it like a shed you know there's gaps uh yeah, there's places i wish i would have done a little better but it is what it is and still got to put that t111 out and then i got to put the metal on the roof here and man it's just been so hot that's <laughs> i got to do it tomorrow i'm going to come out here first thing i got to do it tomorrow because we got rain coming so i don't want that t111 getting wet again so i'll get that metal on there first thing in the morning get that covered in the meantime i'll fill the gaps where these uh bird block are uh, up here it's pretty good uh, just I'm gonna have enough of this tape to do a few things and I got to get this permanently set I don't think it's too bad the way it is. I'll fill that in with foam and make You know once the whatever I decide to put on for walls is up. I'll I'll figure it out then but uh, All right, let me get going All right, I went around and anywhere I could see daylight That I knew trim wasn't gonna cover or even if the trim was I put this tape It has already made a difference just in that and that stuff is so easy to work with and once you stick it it ain't coming up and the hotter it gets i can see there i've got a little piece i gotta do but the, the whole outside of this is going to have trim all the way around it so that's going to help close some gaps it also has like this wall has tie back oh i didn't get it on that one so i'm going to pull this down i've got the insulation i've got helper lily and helper dope the dope is short for waldo oh waldo yeah, he's ready for installation. That's how what dogs call it. Installation. You ready to do some installation? Yeah, you can tell she is. Then I'm gonna make your door bigger so you don't turn into a hunchback, Lily. Alright, then we'll get something to put on there for now. Yeah, this 
get back, get on track, come on, wrap this thing. Double down, roll the dice, take off now, don't look twice, hey, don't you want to play? I say, hey.
so much cooler. I think the dogs gave up because I keep coming in and out every five minutes. But they're outside in the shade shelter. I don't want them. I want to get this done so they come in for this afternoon because it is going to be 100 degrees. Well, I'll meet you. Alright guys, I'll come back when I get this wall done. Yeah. Alright, I got this front wall done, this side wall done. I've got a couple pieces there and half of this wall. I'm going to pull off of the 16 inch for now. I'm going to get this 24 inch ceiling done because that's going to make the biggest difference. Uh, and I only have enough. I was able to scrounge up a few more staples in the shed. But uh, that's going to make the bigger difference. I want to get them up. So if I got to stop, uh, at least I got that part. And I'm going to try to get it on this back wall here, too. All right. Starting to warm up, even with the AC running, man. It ain't insulated yet. All right, guys. We'll be back. All right, guys. I'm going to take a lunch break. We've got about the uh, last maybe 75 percent of it done you know there's things i'm good at and then there's things i suck at and this is definitely one of the things i suck at <laughs> i got the ceiling part of that up but i didn't do a very good job of spacing my uh rafters so some of them don't quite reach i just kind of patched that hole in there but i'm doing a horrible job on this stuff but I'm going to order some of that tape to cover these seams. I've got spots here where I don't have a stud to nail to because it's a corner. And that's where that tape will come in. Here I had four spacing. Uh, this is just awful. But I just want to get this done. Now, I'm going to tell you, it is very, very, very cool in here right now. Even with what I got done. Now, I climb up to the ladder here up there. Oh my God, you can feel the heat up there. So it's doing its job. It's keeping that heat up there. And then down here it's staying nice and cool so i've got to put some more 24 inch here fill this in with some 16. i've got the uh that tape that real good uh waterproof tape on there anywhere i've seen holes now some of this t111 i gotta go out back out there and screw it down better and that'll come into play when i do the outside go back out there <laughs> whatever it cools down and uh man it's a struggle doing this ceiling, I'm going to tell you. Yeah, that's a job for two people. One could hold it up there straight. And you got to try to get one end straight and then come down here and straighten it up. Uh, we're getting there. Like I say, and what do I, Lily? Lily comes in and she's staring at it. She's looking up in the ceiling and she's liking it. And Waldo, he just don't care. Well, I'm going to take a lunch, come back, and figure out what I'm going to do with this wall. It needs, I don't know, we're just going to, we're just going to cover it with insulation. Don't worry about it later. There's goofy spots here, man, because of the way that everything had to be built. All right, I'll be back. I don't know some people were asking about Libby. Look at that. She's under there, as cozy as can be. It's nice and cool on this side of the property. There's a little bit of sun now, but that's why I got my truck there. Uh, we're going to get her fixed up, but you know, I'm going to do so much at once. I want to show you guys what these black French tomatoes look like. And man, they are good. Very, they got a sweet taste to them. Uh, you know, like a, a sweet tomato. They're actually great. Got this blackish color, brown, reddish, black. They're called black prints. This is what they look like cut open. I'm not eating this one because it had a big old crack and some. I don't know. I'm gonna let chickens out of that. I got plenty more coming. Just wanted to show you that. Soft taste and stuff. I'm gonna make me some ravioli. Get some bowlies going. Got my garden green peppers in there. Some onion. Some basil. Oregano, and a sauté. That's S A W T A Y E D. Sauté. Moly. Olive oil. 
I'm gonna melt a little cheddar cheese over the top. And then I got enough for lunch today and the muffin. All right, guys, I'm going to call it quits for today. Boy, my neck is killing me from looking up at this ceiling. Uh, I got most of it done. Man, I'll tell you what, if the aliens come, I'm coming in this room because they can't hear me. That's right. I got my own Faraday cage all covered. It's like a, a walk-in freezer. <laughs> we got some of that done. I just got this to go here. I don't think I'm going to have enough of that, but I should have enough of the 24 left. Man. It's a horrible looking job, but it's all going to be covered and uh, I think I'm going to cover it in quarter inch plywood. Uh, I like the stuff we used uh, on Jeff's Bobblehead Homestead's uh, well house. They don't need to be fancy, so. But I got the main parts that was all, you know, the air was losing. We were losing the air out of, even put a little temporary doggy flap out of there. You know how to use it, don't you, look? Yeah, look at all that fur in here already. All right, so I'm going to get their beds back in here, the other bed back in here, and uh, go in and edit this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Ooh, sweat. And uh, give me a like, give me a like, I don't care. Happy trails.